Welcome back. All right, so let's avoid the smirking, shall we, as I tell you that there's not enough Canadian sperm stored to meet demand. A couple of years back, Health Canada changed the rules for donation, and it has reduced the official supply to the point where there are only 52 Canadian donors to choose from, and 80% of them are of one race, Caucasian. This means that if you're a Canadian woman and you're in a hurry, you need to look outside of the country or risk mail order supplies. So what happened to what was once a thriving business in Canada? Victoria Potashnik investigates. American in need of sperm? There's over 700 sperm banks to choose from. Go a bit north and we've only got one national bank to serve the entire country, Repromed. Dr. Alfonso Delval, the clinic's director and top doc, took us to where the thousands of sperm samples are stored in liquid okay. nitrogen. The uh, semen samples are. There's been sperm that has allowed for fertilization to occur after even 60 years of storage. So these, these are the, uh, the collection rules. Dr. Delval said the men who come in to donate are guys who just want to make a difference. But he says not just anyone can donate. We look at the applications and there may be perhaps either some perhaps social aspects that uh, prevent them. There's a whole list of exclusions according to Health Canada that range from having alcoholism and mental health issues in someone's extended family, having slept with a man recently, or having night sweats. If you need sperm to have a baby in Canada and want the homegrown stuff from this bank, it comes down to a choice between sperm from only 52 men. Kuk Duong and her partner know this all too well. I'm a, a Vietnamese Chinese background, and uh, I found that it was, well, I didn't find anyone that fit that criteria at the sperm bank <clears throat> here in Canada, and um, and therefore I had to find a, I think it was important for us to have that ethnic background mix in, in our child, um, so we had to find an alternative route for that. About 90% of Canadians turn to more costly decisions, such as importing sperm, mostly from the U.S. or Denmark, where the Canadian customers pay more for the sperm samples. The Canadian sperm market is experiencing a serious supply and demand problem that could be solved. To basically provide altruistic gamete donation, you need a system which um, helps people become aware moderates and changes their behavior and makes them more positive towards this as an option. The equation seems simple. More options and more awareness equals more happy Canadian families. For Kevin Newman Live, I'm Victoria Potashnik. More interesting than you thought, I bet. So to take a little closer look at some of the issues that Victoria's report touches on, let's bring in Sarah Cohen. She's a lawyer who works in this area and joining me now in studio. So in her piece there, Victoria mentioned that many Canadians are turning to the U.S. or, or Denmark for, for sperm, but under Canadian law, they aren't legally, is, am I right? They aren't legally able to pay for sperm. So are they breaking the law? They're actually not breaking the law. So um, it's a little bit, uh, a bit of a, you've got to play with the words a little bit. So it's illegal to purchase sperm from a donor or from a person acting on behalf of a donor. But if that purchase actually happens by, for example, U.S. sperm bank in the United States, and then a Canadian comes in and buys that sperm from that sperm bank, that Canadian's not buying that sperm from a donor or a person acting on behalf of a donor, and therefore is doing nothing wrong. So the customer is safe uh, from that point of view. But let's say you have... Uh, let's say you have somebody you like and you want to ask them to be a donor. What's the legal regime in Canada for that? So there's actually kind of two parts to that. So federally, it's like you said, it's illegal to pay that person. Uh, there's no problem. And I mean, I see a lot of people who actually use a friend or family member um, or an acquaintance to be a known donor. That's what we call that kind of person. Um, and that's fine as long as you don't pay that person. But the problem is also that you kind of get hit on two fronts. You've got the federal legislation, then you've got provincial, which actually determines parentage. And some provinces actually make it clear that a donor isn't necessarily a parent just because they donate. So Alberta and British Columbia, for example. But Ontario, we don't have any legislation that makes it clear whether or not a donor is a parent yet. Wow. Yeah, There's a, a lot of work to be done here. There's, that's a very big problem. So basically, the, the country, or, or Health Canada, made an ethical decision a couple of years ago that we were not going to get into the business. We were going to get out of the business of paying for sperm like we did. You can't pay for blood, for instance, in Canada, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Now, having made that ethical decision, that seems to have driven all of the policy after that. Do you think that that ethical decision not to pay should be at the, at, at the height of it? No, I think we have... Um, I 
while I can understand where this is coming from, I think that's kind of the, uh, there's so many other ethical concerns that I would put uh, more towards the front. And I think, for example, um, the idea about whether or not we have a registry is really important. The idea about whether or not um, a child born through gamete donation should have the opportunity to, at some point, when they reach age of majority, know who their, uh, I guess, uh, the donor is. Those things are, in my opinion, far more important issues than is whether or not someone paid a sperm donor 100 bucks for providing a donation. But in the meantime, it's just about impossible to find a donor in Canada. It's, it's incredibly expensive if you do it uh, legally. All right. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. Very interesting conversation. Appreciate you coming uh, out to Thanks flush it out for us. Well, coming up